All right, hello. I'm Wallaber, back on Pro Gymnast. We are in the home stretch on this video game. Um, off stream, what I've been working on is I decided um, that working on the trailer lately, I decided that the biffs in the game could use a little more oomph. You know, one of the main selling points of the trailer is that it's like it's a hard game but you're gonna laugh because you're gonna eat it all the time and uh, so in order to show that you know I captured a bunch of biffs and stuff and in so doing sort of realized they'll look kinda samey and it's because the ragdoll was essentially 2D so I decided um, to work on testing out a 3D ragdoll, and I prioritize this because if I can get it working, um, I can capture new footage for the trailer. Ski Freak, how's it going? Thanks for dropping by. Um, and so I've made some pretty good progress. So what I did is uh, here, let's let's do a quick review. So um, I went into an empty scene, and I grabbed my my the avatar for the gymnast and so if you run this scene what you get is like the 3d model for the oops do look at this the 3d model for uh the avatar just kind of in the like this is the in this game this is like the t pose this is like the default pose so then in here in play mode i like pause the game and then i constructed a bunch of transforms and colliders to work out what a ragdoll was going to look like and then I copied them out and made them into a prefab. And so, uh, if I go like this, you can see that there it is. Um, and looking at this right now, actually, I'm going to make a slight change here. I think this one. The ski Freak's been trying to finish a mod all day. Started this morning, but can't focus at all. Now it's really, like, yeah. I know it's like a struggle with... Uh, just not feeling it some days, you know? That's alright though. Take a break. One thing I've noticed is like, uh, uh, if you just kind of walk away from something that you've been thinking about but struggling with, when you're not actively trying to solve the problem, your brain kind of like, you know, when it has some time to recharge, it's like, it gets, you know, you probably like figure something out about the problem or the thing you're trying to do, and then suddenly, you have a better plan for how to do it, or you're more motivated, or whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm doing the ragdoll now, and it's, I made pretty good progress. So here here it is, right? This is the 3D ragdoll. Um, and I think if I, let's see, if I go like this, and I get rid of this link, then we can probably watch it just sort of like fall to the ground here in this dent, in this test scene. Ugh, right? Ugh. <laughs> So, it's starting to look pretty good. And then the next thing I need to do um, is integrate into the game. Yeah, yeah, distractions. I understand. I understand. Sometimes I just try to like break things up into really small tasks and that helps a little bit, but yeah, sometimes you just gotta just take a break. Um, all right, so we got this ragdoll. The way it works, so is that this is going to be in the scene all the time. So let's go to the game scene. So if we look at the game scene, um, you know it looks a little weird here at first, um, but you've got the the placeholder for the gymnast for the avatar, and then we have the the ragdoll, which is just sort of sitting over here. When you when you run the scene, this ragdoll just immediately disables itself. And so, what? I, and then basically what you can do is, you, at some point in time, you can say, we're going to ragdoll mode, and then all these rigid bodies will get their positions to match the actual avatar. And then this, they'll get set up there, and then physics, you know, lets the ragdoll fall. And then we have to switch the avatar from looking at the, the game, you know, gymnast, to this ragdoll. And then back again when we want to reset. So I've hooked up a um, 
I've got this partially hooked up. So let's look. So for example, now here, if I go in and I start it up and uh, I can just switch to the ragdoll and you'll see actually the game is still looking at the the game gymnast, which is still hanging from the bar. You just can't really see it right now. Um, but if I let go and fall down on the ground, you'll see there's my ragdoll over there. And if I hit the B key, it goes back. So here's the here's the 2D gymnast. Here's the 3D gymnast. 2D, 3D, 2D, 3D. And this gets more um, pronounced, like here. Boom, see? This is what the game would look like right now. And this is what it can look like <laughs> when you biff. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, won't the ragdoll look the same even with the arms and legs? Yeah, kind of. Um, but like, <laughs> see, pretty funny. Um, but we have some things I can do. So one of the things that's missing right now, first of all, it's not actually hooked up to getting knocked out. And, um, also see when I switch to the ragdoll, all the momentum is lost. Um, and so I need to fix, I need to inherit the momentum of the actual, you know, gameplay, um, gymnast. So that's going to be step one is we're going to go, we're going to go hook that up. Um, so that if I do this, boom, it would actually keep flipping and flying through the air. And we also need to make it so that it, when we ragdoll out, the camera follows the ragdoll instead of the instead of the game gymnast. And it looks like I still need to do some work on the uh, the settings on the ragdoll. Um. <laughs> uh, like there, I don't know why the knees can't bend farther the other direction. Actually, this is a good opportunity to go look at that. Let's go, <laughs> let's go look at that. So if we go investigate here, like what, so the, f what is it, this, this joint here. Oh, uh, wait, 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 don't maximize. I want to be able to see the scene view. Thank you. So this joint here, it should be able to rotate more than that. So which direction is it that I need to give it more? Is it this way? Doesn't look like it. So is it this way? It is. So this number needs to be like negative almost 180 to let the knees crumple fully. Okay. So the low limit on the knees. Cool. We can fix that. So we go here, and this is going to be more like negative 170. Okay. Let's apply those changes. <laughs> Make everything all f noodly. Yeah, actually, all these joints, I could technically put, like, brake force on them, where if they get hit too hard, they the constraint breaks, and then they just, like, completely flop around. We may... We may give that a try. We'll see. All right, so let's let's try and get the momentum. And let me think about it. so the way the game camera works is first of all you have this script, and then I think we have in the cameras we have the gameplay camera focus, and this thing is set up to, to a chasing behavior. So what we can probably do is just swap out its target. But let's look here. What? How does this actually work? I have to remind myself. Okay, so when we go like this, we start the game up. Right. So that thing is set to chase. It's, it's looking at the bar you're grabbing onto. And then when you let go of a bar, huh, it switches to the gymnast center of mass. Okay. So really, though, what we could do is... We could either overload it there and have it look at the avatar, or we could have the gym the center of mass script smart enough to know when you're KO'd. Oh, hey, Sympathy, how's it going? Thanks for dropping by. Um, yes, so we are making the biffs look better today. Um, now go for it. Feel free to engage lurk mode. Yeah, maybe by the time you're done doing the dishes, you'll see some better biffs. <laughs> All right, so let's let's just we're gonna do it with this thing. So the 
the no no this thing the chase transform right some different people set this let's go find all the references okay chase transform uses it obviously let's see the game manager does things like sets it to the gymnast center of mass that's it to nothing when you uh, go into edit mode. Sets it to the grabbable when you grab onto things. Yep, yep. Yep, cool. When you release, we go back to that. And so do we Do we have a gymnast KO? We do, look at this, on gymnast KO. Glorious. So what we could do here is um, here, let, 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 let's go see an example of this. We need to do something like this. And on Gymnast KO, we're going to... So it looks on the avatar since it's in 3D ragdoll mode. Um, so... Here we would say the target becomes uh, do we have the We must have a reference to the gymnast avatar here, don't shouldn't we? Okay, do we not? That would be kind of amazing if we if we don't have a reference to the gymnast avatar. Maybe we don't though. Let's see. We certainly have a reference to the gymnast and the controls. Okay, hmm. Guess not. All right. Fine. So let's go to the definition of this. No, no. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I wanted to go here. Okay. Wow, there's a lot. Let's just scroll up to the top here. Okay. So it's like right here. Uh, right here. Okay, so let's do private gymnast m gym. No, not, not gymnast avatar m gymnast avatar equals null. Okay, now. Okay, so the game manager actually instantiates the gymnast. Well, we we have a reference in the scene to this, so we can just. Make this a serialized field. Okay. So now in uh, in on gymnast uh, ko, we can set this to be the avatar dot yeah, you ref dot you may data dot game object dot transform. Okay. Alright. Okay. So this should mean now that when we get knocked out, we actually ragged all out. We're also gonna wanna then actually like Turn off the the actual gymnast, I guess, or disable its collision or something, because we're not going to want phantom collisions coming from the gameplay gymnast. You know, think about what's going to be the cleanest way to do that. Okay, but this should be good enough for that. So then, what we could do is Now, right now, what we're doing is we're just debugging it right here. 
here. But instead we're gonna need a notification of some kind to, yeah. Now do we, yeah, we call show. Okay, there we go. Which happens in the games, okay. So we're not gonna do it that way. We're gonna do, um, do we have like some kind of reset or something? Not really. Okay, we'll add that. All right. So probably somewhere around here. We could be like public void um, on on player ko. Or I guess it's gymnast. I call it gymnast everywhere else. So let's be consistent on gymnast ko. And then we're going to um do the same logic we were doing up here where we actually switch the state right here so let's grab this get rid of this okay come back down here okay so this is going to essentially say if we're not already ragdolled then we want a ragdoll. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to have a public void. Reset ragdoll. Okay, we might need this somewhere. I'm not sure yet. Ragdoll ref dot set state. Gymnast ragdoll dot ragdoll state dot waiting. Okay. Now we're probably going to want to call this in state change. So I don't think there's any case here where we want. Yeah, so we should probably say here reset the ragdoll. Okay. Now manager game needs to notify notify the avatar so and gymnast avatar dot on gymnast ko okay and then like here we've definitely got like retry now and retry now we also want to do a bunch of resetting so we, that's all kind of happening here so we could do it right here. M gymnast avatar dot reset ragdoll. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, in theory, we, in order to ragdoll, we have to actually knock ourselves out. We should probably leave in. Where does this actually come from? It comes from gymnast. But let's also let, here in manager game um, in update. Let's put back in a debug. So if input dot get key down key code dot b for biff, we're gonna say on gym. Or we're gonna say like m gymnast. Is there a way to? I don't think there's a way to knock out the gymnast manually. Mm. Yeah, check KO. There's no currently there's no way to like force this to happen. Which what all does this do? Turns on the KO effect. We don't care about that for the debug test. It lets go whatever you're hanging on to. Makes you don't care about that. And we like loosen up the joints, which isn't really gonna matter anymore. Okay. So so we can just for now just do on on gymnast ko okay okay so hmm. 
Now let's have a look. We still haven't done the velocity inheriting. That should be pretty easy once we get this working. Uh oh. Oh yeah, we have we added a reference. We need manager game to know about the gymnast avatar, which is right here. Okay. Save the scene. Run. Okay. Now we should be able to run. Oh, we still got some null references. Let's go look at these. Whoa. What is this? Is this happening too soon? Probably is. Yeah, get, ragdoll initialize is happening too soon. Because I was... Right, I was calling... So... Right. The gymnast avatar. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, where do we call that? No, it's in... It's in... This. Okay, we have to do this. If ragdoll ref dot ragdoll state equals equals gymnast ragdoll dot state dot active okay I think that will fix it this is a little little flimsy order of operations thing going on here but we have to make sure that we don't talk to the and I, I, mean, I should put a check on this too but that's probably a good idea but we gotta do things in the right order here okay so we're in we can add a thing we can play we have a avatar if I knock myself out hey we went to 3d ragdoll didn't we let's look maybe not actually maybe we didn't if we go look at the 3D ragdoll, it's still disabled. Interesting. Um, what happens if I just press the button here? Nothing. Nothing. Interesting. Did, um, let's go look here. Did the, did this change? Not, not this. This? It did. Okay, but we did not. Okay, so let's go look at this. Let's put one here. Let's put one here. Save. Okay. Mm, let's run the thing. Okay. Boom. Okay, now let's attach the debugger. Okay. All right, let's test this again. Let's try. Okay, that was weird. Physics there seemed a little funky, but let's not worry about that for a second. Okay, so what's the state waiting? Wait a minute. Duh. I want it to be if we are waiting. There's your problem. Probably. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Okay. Let's go back here. Felt like we had something weird going on with the physics there, though. Okay. Okay, that's a 3D ragdoll, if I've ever seen one. Yes. Okay, can we reset? We can. Okay, I'm going to need to move the little birdies to be on the avatar now instead of the 2D gymnast. Oh, look at that. Much better. Okay. 
Ooh, the legs feel like they can bend the wrong way. I think they can. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's no good. That's no good. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Um, this is bent the wrong way. <laughs> it's extremely painful. So let's go look at this. Why is that? So one of these is too much. Is it this one? No. So it's this, it's this one. I had the wrong one here. Oh, no. Are these not affected right now because this thing is falling asleep? Looks like it. Yeah. Oh wait, we're paused. We're paused, that's probably the problem. Okay, let's go back and look at this. So, yeah, getting these joint settings correct is always tricky. Okay, is it this one? Yes. So this should, the max should be about right there. 20. Basically almost zero degrees. Okay, so it's negative like 125 and then two. Okay, so that's these two. Or not negative 125, negative 170 and these are like, yeah, five or something. Okay, let's apply those changes. Getting the joint limits right is always tricky. Okay, so um, that was looking pretty good. Let's go get the velocity working. So where do we want that to happen? That should happen here. I think what we're gonna do is we already have this like data structure. One for each uh, rigid body in the rag doll. And so we could say, uh, we also want to know not only what skeleton bone are you, but also what gymnast body part um, are you. And given that information, and if we call, do we have a reference to the gymnast yet? We don't. So we're gonna need that. Now that could be here. It's gonna be kind of gross though. Let's just give it a reference that it can know about. So we'll be like private gymnast M gymnast references null. And then there's a public gymnast gymnast, which you can set. And what you can get. I don't know why we need to get it, but hey. Let's type it while we're here. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is gymnast avatar who calls set state right here. We're also gonna say ragdoll ref dot gymnast equals m. So we have we have to have a reference to the gymnast here. don't we? How do we do anything in this script without a reference to the gymnast? Sympathy is officially done with the dishes. All right. Uh, oh, no, not ragdoll ref. <laughs> nice. Um, Pre-solve. Here we go. Gymnast ref. Duh. Self-control to not lurk on streams and play video games. Yes, you did it. Dishes are done now. Now you can you can lurk all you want to play video games, play some Fall Guys or something. Um. All right. So now that we have a reference to the gymnast here in the ragdoll, when we 
turn ourselves on here in activate okay we need to inherit velocity and angular velocity from the body part so if you got it three days ago you have nine wins oh my god Timothy, you need to stream some of your gameplay because you, you're really good. <laughs> I've I've played it. I, mean, I haven't played it a ton, but I have I have not come close to taking first place even once. I made it to the last round a couple times. Um, okay, if gymnast ref is not equal to null, then we can here. Let's do it like this. We're gonna say vector three vel equals vector three dot zero vector three omega, which is what I had learned to call rotational velocity is also zero. And then we're going to set those to something if we have a gymnast reference. And then when we're down here, we'll finally assign them. Uh, Semi-pro Overwatch player. Yeah, I forgot about that. I know you've mentioned that a couple times. That's amazing. I'm really bad at FPS games. That's, that's why I just make weird physics games instead. Okay, so then what we want to do is get the body part that we're related to. So we, we go like this and we say m gymnast ref dot get body part. And this is going to be the body dot body part. Body dot body part. These names are glorious. Um, I don't really enjoy streaming games, I'm not sure why, but I love playing them and make them interesting. Yeah, I've never tried streaming playing games either. Every now and then I think it might be fun to like if a, a game that's kind of my you know, more like the type of games I make comes out, maybe it'd be fun to play them on a stream once in a while. Might actually give me an excuse to play them, because <laughs> I always feel like I should be making something instead of playing. Not always, but frequently. Or if I'm so tired that I don't want to make, then I'm so tired I don't want to play either, and then I want to just watch something. Um, Alright, so we found the body part. Um, if right, Let's double check if this is non-null, but it, th that that's not going to happen. Then, the part does the part give us a rigid body? What does it give us? Physics body. Here we go. So let's just do this simple for now. Vel equals that, and omega equals part dot physics body dot angular velocity. Okay. So then, I'm probably going to need to put in some a little bit of randomness here to make this look better. We'll see. Um, now, if we go back here, okay, we go to our. Let's just assume this is going to compile. Looks like it did. Not only that, it compiled successfully, so that's good. Okay, so this. Oh no, it's here. Okay, so the the pelvis that should map to the pelvis. The spine should map to the. Torso. Uh, I actually have three here, though. Do I have three on this thing? See, this is. I guess we could double map them. So these are both going to be pelvis. This one's going to be torso. Then this one's going to be. We don't have a neck, so we'll use the head. Head, head. Um, lower arms. So this is the... Wait, 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 wait. I've skipped some. Neck, head, there we go. Upper arm. So this is upper arm. These both get that. Lower arm gets, you guessed it, arm. Okay. And then... Um, hand gets hand. Oh, 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 I skipped one. There it is. And am I, like, off by one here? What the heck? Yeah. What's going on here? Let's look at this carefully. Let's close them as I get them. Pelvis. Good. Pelvis. Correct. Torso. Correct. Head. Head. Uh, upper arm is upper arm. Upper arm is upper arm. Lower arm is arm. Lower arm is arm. Hand is hand, hand is hand. Okay. 
and thigh is what I called over here the femur. Femur. Thank you. And this is uh, leg. This one is leg. And then we have foot. Oh, I had two. Look at that. Well, we'll just do foot. Foot and foot. Okay. All right. So now, in theory, we should be inheriting velocity when we get knocked out. Um. Let's see. Then we gotta figure out how to turn off the game, the physics avatar, when you get knocked out. Or not avatar, physics. The gymnast, the 2D physics gymnast. Let's see. What's the what's the level where we can get knocked out in a variety of scenarios? Uh, this one. This is a pretty good test, probably. Okay. Let's go straight up here. And then just boom. Okay. <laughs> the legs have like a real tendency to like widen out, which looks a little strange. Uh, but maybe I'm just so used to not seeing that. I think it might be a joint issue though. Oh, didn't hit hard enough there. We gotta make sure that the uh, momentum is actually happening here. Did that kind of look like it still just lost all the momentum? <laughs> Knees still look weird. Why aren't they? Why aren't they? Oh, this may be a thing where because we're disabling the ragdoll so quickly. The joints aren't getting set up right. That would make sense. That would be a plausible explanation for why I think I keep having to fix the joints. Okay. Yeah, no, okay, all the momentum is being killed too, so that's not working yet. All right, so we got a couple issues. I think we need a frame of aliveness, which would be something like when we initialize for the first time. Okay, we're storing all this stuff. And then when we call reset and hide. Yeah. So let's do let's do something here instead, like um Yeah, we'll just make initialize into a coroutine. Okay. And we're gonna do all this. Then we're going to yield return null. Then we're going to reset and hide. See if this makes a difference. Um, but also, why wasn't this working? Maybe the we'll, we'll double check here. We'll figure it out in a second. Um, okay. And then we need to we need we need to not continue here. So this is kind of almost like you shouldn't be able to call set state until we're initialized. Maybe that would be the better way to do it. We, like this is let's be a little more explicit with how this works. So so this code really goes here. And then let's we need a well, and then what we can do here is we can just say if state equals ragdoll state dot an initialized re, re return. We're not allowed to do do anything yet. Okay, and then in here 
we are going to finally down here set the state uh, to waiting. Okay. I think that might make an improvement. Now let's throw a breakpoint in here to see why we're not getting... Uh, why we're not getting inertia. Okay, so we'll, we'll put one there. Okay. Back over here. I'm excited about this if it, if it, uh, works. Probably getting it working tonight is kind of my vague cutoff point for including it in the game versus not. Because I still got, you know, other finishing work to do. Uh, let's not... Let's go to a level. Let's see. There's a level where we can knock ourselves out easily. Maybe even more easily than that one I was just using. There we go. This would be a good example of some momentum here. If we can get our head like that. Uh, did we not? Thinking about it more, I feel like playing games would be fun to record and maybe make YouTube videos. I can see how maybe like yeah, having the ability to like edit it later would be different than streaming it. I attach to this. Yeah, at the very least, if, when in it, when you play Pro Gymnast, I, you gotta at least record it or something, so that I can uh, watch <laughs> and see what happens. Uh, let's see. Come on, hit your head! Hit your head! No! 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 Okay, so what's going on here? Why are we not? Do we have um, some weirdness happening? Like, why did we lose our our three D ragdolling? Oh, okay. So this is probably because I screwed up something with this new initialization, and it's never getting into the right state. Right? Right? That would that would explain it. So let's go like this. Let's run the game scene and see what happens to the ragdoll here. It sh oh, oh, duh, duh. I said I was going to clean up the code. So now you're supposed to call initialize. But gymnast avatar doesn't do that. It just calls set state. So this needs to be this now. Okay. Uh, but like I only play indie and small studio. So at least they will have YouTube video pop up when someone searches the game. Yeah, that's cool. Just find stuff you want to like, you know, you wish we had a larger audience and play that, you know? Okay, this looks better now. So let's, let's go load up, uh, what level was that? It was this one. Funny how when you want to like knock out the gymnast, it suddenly becomes hard to do. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna hit our head right now. Okay, we got 3D. Uh, you're gonna be a, we be a pro at pro gymnast. Yeah, we're gonna. You no, know, I'm in talks to do a few. Uh, look at that. See that pose right there? Much better than the previous biff system. Um, I don't know why the camera kept going down. What, uh... Oh, because the camera position... Let's test this. If this was actually pointing to... this... Yeah, the camera would be up higher. Okay. We're gonna have to fix that. This is probably gonna... probably broke something just now by changing that, but that's okay. We're in test mode. Come on. 
hit your head on something. No. <laughs> oh no. Ouch. Wow. Wow. I didn't I didn't plan for that. This one you can get going so fast your knees can actually clip through the Oh, man, this level turned out to be pretty sadistic. I, I did not realize that. Look at that. Okay, but we're definitely not inheriting the velocity. And it seems like almost we weren't... Were we not making it into this function? Like, why didn't we make it into here? We have to be getting into here is this try that again right we're actually attached right now aren't we seems like it maybe not though let's reattach I don't like to look at this this doesn't look like it attached properly it claims it's it is attached Okay. Uh, let's see. I should have my debug um, enabled, right? Okay, so if I hit the B key, we make it into here. We move along here. Ooh, our gymnast ref is null. Really? So that means when we're setting this here, this is current. This is set to null. Aha. Okay, so where is this actually set to? Set to right here. Okay, so we should be notifying it right here. This is a little, a little on the gross side. Um, what is this? I am ragdoll. What is it? Ragdoll ref. Dot gymnast equals gymnast ref okay yeah the way it finds the gymnast here is kind of uh, less than ideal well it almost really should move this out of pre-solve and put it instead in fixed update at the top yeah like here So if we don't have a gymnast, let's go find one. And then when we do get one, we like set up some junk. Okay, so now we can say, this, ah, this is the correct one. This one can go away. Okay, so that's why we weren't inheriting any velocity. try our, our uh, now in theory what was happening before shouldn't happen now because we should inherit enough velocity to keep falling instead of just coming to a halt here of course I gotta actually hit my head like this boom look at that there we go okay now, see, so one thing I'm wondering is if I should introduce a little, a little bit of randomness to the velocities and stuff to like produce some torque and stuff to kind of, kind of, you know, make sure we get a little bit of a 3D reaction here. Um, I mean, it looks like it's happening pretty. Just the chaos of the collisions and stuff makes it happen anyway, but. Oh, man, I would like to hit my head, please. 
you know? Here. Here. There you go. Right there. No. Hit the feet. There it is. Boom. Boom. Kunk. Yeah, look at these biffs. They're so much better already. The body can twist and, like, <laughs> flop around. I mean, they look really knocked out now, which is kind of kind of sad. Because before, like, even when they were knocked out, they kind of looked still a little bit like, I don't know. Look at that, though. Look at that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, we've got the classic... Uh, Ragdoll freak out. This is going to be a problem. What the heck is even happening there? You know, a little bit of this for flavor can be nice, but why? Oh, there we go. Okay, so what is going on here? Oh, I need to turn off my rainbow debug. Um, but like what, what kind of weird configuration did the, this arm is the problem. This arm is the problem. It's stuck on the other side of the body and the collision is keeping it from, so that's a question. Do we even need self collision for the gym, for the ragdoll? Probably not because we have joint limits. So let's go here to the not preferences to the project settings and let's go down here and say that the ragdoll cannot collide with itself okay try that and then the other thing is we can probably put a little bit of i, mean, I already have some drag an angular drag on here um i could increase that a little bit I never really know what these numbers need to be like. Maybe I haven't given it much at all, you know. Let's try bigger numbers and see what that does. Um, just so that it's going to kind of like settle a little better. Um, okay. Yeah, and then what we could do is we could, on the ragdoll itself, we could like, like maybe just... I don't know. I don't think we're going to need the randomness really. But we could, let's support it. So let's put here, um, no. Mm. Is it a global thing? All we need to do is give him a slight, yeah, okay. So it'd be like private float max random velocity uh, uh, boost right and let's say for right now it's gonna be like one one meter per second which is probably too big and then what we do is we get down here and we don't do it here we do it here and so we just say vel plus equals random unit is it on unit sphere that's a randomized vector times max we're just going to add a little velocity in a random direction okay and now what do we do now i guess we test this a little more but we'll, oh one last thing we definitely have to do is we have to figure out how to when the actual gymnast KOs uh, which is in here check KO what are we gonna do like one option would be change the layer on all of the body parts so that they switch to like a no collision layer I don't love that though because then I gotta remember and set everything back because not every body part is on the same layer. Like the hands are on a special layer and stuff like that. Can I just disable the game objects? Probably. 
probably. We're gonna need to move this KO effect. I gotta write some of this junk down. Let's uh let's open up a uh, let's open up a notepad and say we gotta disable the 2D physical physics gymnast on KO. Um, and re-enable on reset. We need to move birdies to the avatar instead of the physics gymnast. That's what we got so far. Okay, so... I mean, let's move the K... Uh, yeah, let's figure this out. I don't want to delay this. All right. Now, how do I want to do this? I could like set all the rigid bodies to kinematic and disable the colliders. Does a body part know it's collider? Not currently, but that would be easy enough. To, maybe that's the way to do it. So if we say like private collider m whoa, what's all that? M col equals null. Okay. And then in awake, we say m col equals get component collider. Pretty sure these all have colliders on the root. I can double check this though. Okay. And then then we're gonna need um, we're gonna need like um, public void uh, hide and hide is gonna say mrb dot is kinematic equals true and m col dot enabled equals false and then we're gonna have a public void show which is mrb that is kinematic equals false and m call that enabled equals true something like that okay and so then the gymnast can um, disable so we're gonna we're gonna say hide or uh, set body parts active to false okay and let's also go find where else we reset things like right here right this is where we reset ourselves yeah so then here we want to set what was it um what was it what was my function i invented like literally two seconds ago set body parts active set body parts active to true okay and so we need that function to exist now so we get down here to the bottom private void set body parts active bool active and then we just go for each body part part in and body parts part dot uh let me say if active part dot show else part dot hide okay i like how in the last five seconds i've decided to call this same idea like eight different things it's called show and hide on the body parts, but it's called set them active and uh, whatever. Probably what I should be doing is overriding the enabled and disabled feature. So I could just set, you know, body, gym's body part dot enabled equals false. And it would be smart enough then to like hide things and stuff. I'm often hesitant to use those though. I don't know why. Okay. Now. Is that enough? Probably. That's gonna stop the thing. Okay, let's move the 
uh, KO effect or whatever it's called. Um, it's gonna be up here at the top. Um, blah 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 Where are where is it? Oh no, it's on the gymnast. Duh. Let's go up here. KO effect raft. So this gets moved to the avatar. So we're gonna put this down here somewhere. Right here. It's kind of conceptually related to the ragdoll. Okay, so now that we've removed this, we should have a few spots of code that don't like that anymore. Right here. Oh, s hang on. Does this thing have... Mm, okay. So I have to actually handle over here. We need to add a single effect handles being stunned and being knocked out. So we have to actually place both of those on here. Ah, oh, it's going to be annoying. Oh well. It'll be annoying. So be it. So we need a Uh, on Gymnast KO, we also need Public Void on Gymnast Stun. Um, Bool Stunned, so this is going to get called with a true when we start being stunned and a false when we get unstunned. Which means we can go to... Ugh. Oh, this is annoying. Okay, so... So here, um, what do we need to do here? We need to we have some like callbacks or something on the gymnast. I forget if I do that that way or if I just actually say. I think we're just gonna say game ref, right? On gymnast stunned false. The stunning has ended. Okay, so that's gonna be called there. Here, mm, we just don't do that. So let's hold on to this for a second. Let's come back over here. Basically gonna set this to be stunned. Okay, then this needs to happen right here. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then down here, when we say stun is enabled, that's going to go away and we're going to say game ref. Dot on on gymnast stunned false. And then this is gonna be game. Oh, well, we don't need to do that because we already called game ref on gymnast KO. So this moves to here like that. Okay, All right. So we have to go implement this other function. And then here somewhere there's another one, or is that it? Right here. This is when we become stunned. So this needs to be gym. No, no, no. Game ref dot on gymnast stunned true. Okay. Okay. So now we just need manager game to actually have this function. So where's the gymnast ko? Here it is. So we're gonna add one here. Public void on gymnast stunned. Uh, bool stunt. Okay, and right now all we're gonna do is mgymnast. I'm gonna pass this along to the avatar. 
which is kind of weird, but you know, there's a there's a uh, the gymnast avatar is kind of on a need to know basis, you know. Uh, the gymnast doesn't need to know that there's like a 3D avatar. So this is how we route that information. It has to go through the manager, you know. Just like any good outdated corporation. Okay. In theory, we're passing all the information around now. Now we have a problem here, which is... I do like managers. <laughs> if you have a good one. Manager game. Pretty solid manager. Doesn't get in the way too much. Pretty helpful. Handles a lot of things. Um, okay. So, here's the problem. We need to actually place... Uh, yeah. So we need to... We need to... We have this KO effect that we're now dealing with over here. Where is it? I put it somewhere. I put it down here. This. What we need to do is we need to... Once we have the character right here, place the KO effect. Um, so we say if KO effect reference is non-null, then we need to say transform head the head bone is equal to data dot get bone game object for the head dot transform and then we say ko effect ref dot transform dot set parent to the head bone and then we're just gonna say local position is zero. I don't, we actually want this to be a false. We don't want it to like try and be smart and work out what the local position should be. I guess actually that should that should be well, that should be enough. If we just do that. That should do the job of placing it. So now we can go over here. We got to go to our gymnast prefab okay things compiled only have 60 warnings don't worry about those I'm sure they're all totally meaningless and not trying to help me do a better job or prevent me from making silly errors uh, prefabs yeah 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 if you don't have 60 errors you should be worried I mean warnings you know warnings maybe not errors <laughs> Uh, okay, gymnast avatar. No, gymnast female. Here we go. So we're, here's our KO effect. Is this it right here? Let's see. Oh, we don't have a reference to it anymore, but it's probably this. Where is the script, though? Ah, it's here. Okay, so this is going to be a little weird. We're going to copy this. Then we're going to... Well, let's not delete it yet. Now let's go over to the avatar. The avatar gets... This is a beefy game object at this point. Gets a pasted thing. And this is going to be called KO effect. Okay? This does not have a rigid body. This does not have a capsule collider. This is not a gymnast, gymnast body part. It is just a gymnast KO effect. And it's got this other junk related to it. But these are all still offset relative to the head, so we should be in pretty good shape here. In fact, let's leave this like this for a second and go here and say, hey, you wanted to know about the KO effect? Here it is. All right, you are asking about this KO effect. Here it is. Now, go like this. Run the game. And first off, Okay, so we now we have an avatar. Oh, let's let's do this. Uh, let's boom, 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 boom. Get the game playing. Okay, the head is offset and super weird. Look at that. Not in the right spot. And so that's because we had a weird offset in the prefab, I assume. 
Let's go look at this though. What did we actually want? So here's the head, and somewhere right here is going to be the KO effect. Uh, if this was zero zero, <laughs> it's close. Um, where are the birds? Let's see, can we turn on the birds? Mm, not easily. Oh, I have to turn this object on. There we go. Okay, so that's where they are. So this thing needs to be rotated. Like this, right? So that we get the birdies where they should be, and then the stun effect also where it should be. And we're probably gonna want this to be not that direction. Let's look at head. What do we want to be the moving in the negative x direction? How do you like that? Okay, so copy this. Come out of here. Paste the component values like that. Then apply all that. Run it again. I uh, already got to get some sleep. All right, Sympathy, have a good night. Thanks for dropping by. By the end of the night here, we're going to have some... <laughs> Wait, let's look at this. We, we gave our character a... We turned it into Fall Guys. In one fail swoop here. This is pro Fall Guys. <laughs> uh. Let's go look at that. That's dumb. It's placed properly, so that's good. Can I make this into a little stupid video of some kind? It goes out of focus really fast when you get zoomed in this close. Or I guess it's because the focal plane is actually here. See, can we make this loop? So it comes around. Let's see. What is the actual first starting points right there? Probably not. Okay. Who cares? So let's go like this. Grab this really quick because it's so stupid. Also, okay. All right, so we've got that lined up properly now, and so now I think if I load a level where we can get knocked out, like our classic one we've been using, this one. Okay. Oh, 
Oh my god. What the? Missing component. Mm, let's go look at these. So. Here. Like femur. Oh, it has more than one collider. Right. Forgot about that. Okay. This code has to be upgraded to be all of our colliders. And this needs to be get components in children. Okay. And then we gotta do for each collider call in m calls call dot enabled equals false do 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 go down to here equals true okay cool mm, oh and then also now that we're on the gymnast here we can get rid of the birds and the stun and on the head we can get rid of the in this ko effect like that okay we're gonna leave the fall guys mask on for a little bit here while we test this some more okay I still had another null ref what was it this time expressions gymnast ref really and it was on this first line here 816 this line how did gymnast reference get mm, let me think about that not setting something that I used to be okay so we're clearly throwing an exception there in the same spot how so we're in late update update I mean this must have been called by now right apparently not though don't do anything um, really okay let's make sure this code happens Certainly should be happening. Oh, okay. Well, is it already happening? 
Did we get one? Not yet. Okay. Okay, we keep making it into here. Which kind of makes sense because we're in the editor. What about now? Yeah, we have a gymnast. Okay, so let's look at what happens when we... Uh, what are we doing here? That state. So let's 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 walk through once we get to here. Okay. There. Okay. So we come into here. We go into here. We're gonna activate. Yeah, we're making it in all this stuff. We're coming along here. We're definitely doing some junk there. Okay. Let's step out. Now let's go to step out. And now the next time we come into here. We're not coming into there now, are we? Too late. It already happened. This is happening earlier. Right. We just didn't used to be able to get into here when the gymnast is null. So let's go. Let's go look at that. Um, that's going to be in so in fixed update here, and we say if do that, then we need to do the same thing here, right? No, not here in late update. Okay. Well, let's go turn off our debug rainbow while we're at it. That was in dynamic hair chain. Turn off debug draw. Okay. Okay. So. how we're looking now um, let's load up the level okay something weird is going on there we weren't really getting any velocity out of it like pausing. Um, I think I should be able to confirm that by going like this and seeing if this even works. It does. Yeah, so look, we're falling, we're falling. We just lose all of our momentum. Doom. And then fall again. That arm is like, it wants to go the wrong way. The right arm, I have to look at that. Something weird with the arms for sure. Okay. Well, why aren't we getting any momentum there? Uh, let's see, where would that be? 
that would be in Gymnast Ragdoll. Right here. Debug dot draw line body dot rb dot position body dot rb dot position plus vel color dot yellow three point oh f is it just because we literally set the thing active? I don't know, that doesn't that shouldn't matter. All right, let's go see what we're getting here. Okay. Mm, I guess I'm just gonna keep using this level for now. Let's go see though, did we get any, look at that, yeah, we had velocities for sure. Maybe we were adding too much with the random velocity. Let's test that. Let's set this to zero. Okay. Whoa, all of a sudden, we're getting some wild uh, output. Wow. What the heck? Where? Yeah. We're like flipping all around. Okay. No, oh, I just noticed that some of these don't have like exact the unit scale, which I don't like. Okay. Hmm. What did I change other than drawing this? Makes no sense, right? Something else change? Well, I mm, no. Double check this though, we're going to set this to zero. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. I guess we're going to leave it in a little window for now. Oops. Complete the low. I want to knocked out, please. Oh, okay, let's go look. What kind of? Oh, did I wait too long? Seems like I waited too long to see the velocities. Hmm. Wait a minute, where is our debug velocities? This is like a real new unprecedented level of explosion here. What is the deal? Previously I was in slow-mo, does that matter? <sighs> wow. Where are our debug lines though?
What the heck is going on? did I change? What did I break? Alright, there's our ragdoll. It's disabled now. these values. He's making no sense. That makes no sense at all. The the velocities that we're getting there make no sense. Like look at those. They should all be pointing straight up and down because and we're even getting them like, yeah, wait, wait, do I still have the one here? Okay, hang on. Set this to zero. What? Why aren't they drawing now if they're at zero? Okay, if they're at zero. It means we're not getting anything out of this, huh? So those were just our random, the random values. All right, let, let, let's let's do the uh, classic uh, setting velocity for velocity and omega for body. And this is gonna be a uh, body dot bone skeleton bone. This is a way to identify this. Vel is vel, and omega is omega. Okay, let's see what we get here. says that it set the velocity to a zero for all these. Now is that because we're setting those things to... Why is it exploding though? <laughs> Let's figure out why 
It's exploding. And recently I added this thing. Does this thing have a collider or some junk on it? No. No. Okay. It says it's setting it all to zero. Which, first of all, is weird, but if it's setting it to zero, why is it exploding? did I do? I mean, I guess I added this KO effect. Look at that, we're already like one frame in and everything is like unhappy. What does the ragdoll think is going on? <laughs> Something very unsettling is going on. Look at that, everything's way off. Why? What the heck happened? It was all in the ragdoll layer. Okay, even just creating it, like, annually. And there we actually got some, um, velocities. So that's interesting. Okay. What did I recently change? Like, I, I, this thing existed. Let's get, let's try turning it off. Did I change something else? Okay, we're overlapping the ragdoll. And then the ragdoll is exploding. Okay. 
Let's go look at the project settings. The ragdoll can collide with default. Can collide with interactable. Hmm. Okay. Let's take off colliding with default and see if that makes a difference. What the heck did I change? Is it the... Hmm. What the heck did I change? I was trying to disable the I was trying to disable the gymnast. Right? What if we just temporarily don't do this? Does that make a difference? Why? I think this is going to be what does it though. This is going to fix it. Question is why is this going to fix it? Let's see. Nope. Not fixing it. Although the gymnast is still around. It looks like um where is it? Yeah, let's try this again. There we are. We say we want to ragdoll. Okay. There. The ragdoll is there and we have downward velocity on all of the pieces makes sense but we go one frame in and the thing just explodes and it definitely was not doing that before now where is the the gymnast uh, hmm what has happened here?
Alright. So what the heck happened? <sighs> what else did we change? We tried to move the effect over. And we added like a on stun or whatever to here, I think. Yeah. I suppose it's like a sync transforms problem or something. Okay. One frame. Everything looks okay. Next frame. Mass explosion. And we had all velocities with zero Z component. Okay, and the gymnast, for its part in this, where is it? Right here. It's still just kind of hanging out here. No obvious issues. Well, it did get disrupted. You see that? So we're getting collision between these things even though we don't want them to. So why is that? Why is that all of a sudden? Yeah, let's look at that again. So we are getting some kind of collision between the ragdoll and the gymnast. This is what seems to be happening. So as we go like this, we spawn the ragdoll. There it is. And now if we look at the... Uh, The game gymnasts here. Oh, never mind. We didn't really get any crazy velocity out of that. Well, maybe that's not too true. Yeah, never mind. That's not the problem. Okay. Is it because we're colliding with the bar? Because our hands are on the bar? No, because if I do this, we're not overlapping with anything. We still get it. What the heck? So what have I, what have I broken here? Hmm. Uh, 
let's just do this. So now when we look at these, there is something weird here where we're getting like a phantom joint set up over here. So if we go look at like this joint. Yeah. We're getting these huge numbers here. Okay, hang on. So let's but let's go all let's go to all of these and say do not auto configure the connected anchor. But why is that happening? Hang on. Hang on. This is our clue. This is our clue. Before when we initialized this is our clue. Before when we initialize the gymnast or whatever, we write right here. Is this happening? Should be. I don't know why we have a return statement in there. And then let's check when this happens. Okay, so it has something to do with something here. Something is order of operations wise has changed. That makes sense. Kind of. Okay, so we come into here. We hit play. Oh, wait. Whoops. <laughs> Let's actually attach the debugger. Wait, we did attach the debugger. Interesting. Hang on. Run that again. We must be coming into this code. Right? Okay, there we go. So we are coming in here. We are doing that. Okay. Then, or uh, whatever. Yeah, okay, fine. Okay. Now we're coming into here. So that seems okay. Okay. So we. Mm, we do. These are not getting the, uh, what's it called? They're not getting, let's just see if this makes a difference. Let's see if my general line of thinking here is correct. Mm. No. See, we're still getting this... Okay. So it have something to do with this um uh, does it have something to do with this? Did I make a change to No, this thing is active at the beginning. Right, so on the first frame, these guys are all alive. Another frame where they're alive. Now they're gone. Okay.
Then you go like that, and they all freak out. Okay. So we cannot have... I don't know how this was working before. We can't have auto configure connected anchor turned on. Or really, yeah, we need to turn that off. And we also need... Um, ah. the joints are going to recalculate their base values. I forgot that's what happens. Okay, okay. So we're going to have to... Let's put this back. And let's do... Apply all. Okay, and then... here. We also need the collider. And we're going to try doing this slightly differently where we do not do this. Instead, we do body.rb.is kinematic equals true and body. Collider.enabled equals false. And then when we activate, we're not doing this. We're doing body.rb.iskinematic equals false and body.collider.enabled equals true. I don't get why this was even working before. Okay, so then. Maybe we need to do a sync transforms, but I don't think so. Um, okay, now the problem is I need a, I need to know all the colliders here, which could just be using get component, but I'm gonna just set them explicitly. Let's go in here. Okay, so you get a collider. You get a collider. You get a collider. I don't know why I'm doing it this way. I should just call it get component. Let's let's redo that. So let's go back up here and say this is hide in inspector and on initialize right here we say body dot call equals body dot rb dot get component dot not dot of type collider. Okay. All right, those should now disappear from the inspector. Okay. All right. So now when we run this, instead what we're going to have is we're going to have this little rigid body over here, and then after like 2 frames the collider's disable. It's just going to sit there. And then we're going to hit play. We're going to ragdoll it. And it is generally going to work. Okay. And this might help the joint limits be correct. Um, let's do a test here. So. <laughs> Some of these joint limits look a little funky. Um, so if we set the character like this, and oops, and drop like this, okay, we're violating the joints. It looks like now this should be more reliable though. So if we go look at like this one, like what was the problem here? Let's see. So for this one, uh, this yeah, that was the correct
So what is it? To straighten it out, it's it's like 60 degrees. Looks like it's about 60. So these guys actually, which this makes more sense now to me. This should be more like that. Um, okay. Now what, now what, now what, now what? Let's, let's not introduce um, inertia yet. Okay, so when we hit this right away, okay, so now see the legs are happier with that, but they're still hitting their limit, these ones were. So let's go look at this one more time. So the problem was they needed to be able to go farther this direction. Yeah, so it's not 60. It's like 70. Okay. Let's test that. All right, we're getting somewhere now. Okay. So when we ragged all out here. Okay, that's better, see? Legs still a little bit. So this is actually more like 70, 75. Okay. And pretty solid. Now when we hit here, are behaving better. Okay, shoulders need some work. Go look at that. So like this one, right? Um, needs to be able to rotate like a lot so now I can turn like that okay and then the elbows are a little funky this we may want larger too so then let's go to lower arm right look at what we've got here Okay, it's not this way, it's this way. Okay. Now, can I... Okay, let's go look at this. So with these arms here, these should be like roughly 90 in each direction, right? Because if you look at this, they should be able to go to straighten out here. So we could probably figure out what that angle is. That's about 90 though, probably a little less. And then about, you know, 80 or so that way. So let's try that, let's say, lower arm you can go from negative 90 to like 80 what does that look like yeah that looks right okay now let's go look at these so these need a lot of freedom so here you are, how high up can you go? You can go as far as up as you're allowed to go. Right, which would be 
If this... Mm, which one am I doing here? Left? Okay. If this is zero. That tells me that that's the... That's that. We can go... We don't even need to go 180. We need to go like 150 or so that way. Then we need to be able to go down about... Yeah, like... So we're going to say negative 30... 150. And then... All the other ones need to be like pretty, pretty open to let the shoulders do their business. What is this? Let's say 120 on each. Let's try that. So that means this one needs to be negative 30, 150, 120, 120. Okay. Okay. Now, don't think that the issue looking a little better. Uh, can this arm like straighten out or not? Whoa. Where'd they go? Off into the world. Reset. Okay, that limit looks okay. Right? Yeah. Now we almost could let some collision back into the system. Yeah, because the problem was with the joints were getting screwed up before, so let's try that. Let's let rag Ragdoll collide with... with Ragdoll. Now, let's go back and let's... <clears throat> okay, now the problem is We're not getting any velocity out of these guys, and that's because Gymnast is calling KO. Let's do this here. So that at that moment, we still have non kinematic uh, rigid bodies. Although. We weren't even doing this. Okay, let's try it like that. And then let's set the ragdoll to yeah no no offset okay mm, mm, mm. There, just go like this okay all right are we inheriting velocity properly so go like this. Yeah, we got some. We have a lot of drag on that rag doll now. Yeah, way too much. Okay, cool. So these we're we're gonna make this more like smaller numbers. Um, let's go get rid of the pause. Uh, right here. Okay. Okay, we should be pretty close now. Uh, we can go back here and there was nothing wrong with the... There was nothing wrong with the KO effect, we think. So we can turn that back on. Now we should be back to Fall Guys. 
all guys looking avatar. We are. Okay. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Defeat. Really flop around, but that's okay. colliders and maybe that's not the best choice. Let's see, they like to do that. Okay, but the behavior of the ragdoll is looking much better. So let's get rid of the debug fall guys. Oh, wait, wait, cancel. Go into this. Okay. Now, no, now get rid of this. Come back out, save, go like that, go like that. Okay, let's test it. All right, let's try some levels. Let's try this one. Where's a biff when you want one? Not just a stun. Proper biff. I can't I can't get hit hard enough. Wait a minute. Something feels like you almost can't get knocked out right now. better. Grab a couple of those. Those are pretty. That one was pretty good. Oh wait. Uh, let's go like this. Ooh. That's a bug. So then I can go like this, like this, and go into here. There we go.
<laughs> nice. Okay. Now let's skip forward. We had a couple other good ones here. Introducing a few other small issues. No, we want this was the best angle of this one. <laughs> okay, let's grab that one. Cool, they can hit the rope like that. Okay. <laughs> this one's pretty good, too. shoulder looks a little messed up on the avatar when it kind of like stretches and turns too much. To make that look better though I would need to be manipulating more than just the one bone. Poses now when you biff it are definitely better. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And then we have like one more good one. Yeah. So this one might be fun to do like. Mm, boom. ground for this one. Or maybe like Hey while we're still on track for release later this month. Yes, pretty much. Although I did decide to push the release date by one week, so it was originally going to be next Thursday, the 27th, now going to be September 4th, Friday. Um, but that is, that is, that's happening. <laughs> um, Just redid the uh, the rag dolls when you when you biff. Now they're fully 3D, and I think they look quite a bit better.
<clears throat> and right now I'm just uh, testing out this new rag doll and uh, making sure that uh, it mostly didn't break things. I think there's a few things here, like if I say re-zoom right now, <laughs> it explodes um, because it thinks it wants to reset the gym is. Oh, these these uh, fails are like a thousand times better than they used to be. <laughs> it's so great that it hits the rope. It's just like amazing. We should try a few other levels. Oh. Okay. So if we were knocked out and we resume. Gotta figure out how to fix that. Uh, let's see, what's another fun kind of KO friendly level? Well, we were testing this one earlier. But that seemed a little strange. It seemed like it was falling faster than the gymnast was, right? Were we not seeing the, um... Yeah, we're not seeing the little birdies. What happened? Okay, we're not seeing the little birdies because the avatar was regenerated. Which is only going to happen in the editor, but I still need to care about it. So what do I do about that? That's over here. We need to be like... It might be okay to do this right here. Let's see if that fixes this. Yeah, and see, we were throwing some exceptions here. Probably because we were trying to access something that got destroyed. Maybe the better way to do this would be to not actually parent it. Oh, this is actually something that's existed for a while. Really, we should, like... Okay, that's hopefully a fairly benign change. Um, yeah, okay. Let's see. I don't know if this is going to work. Um, quick way to test. We will go like this. Okay, got the birdies. Let me go back to the editor. Then we play it again. Got the birdies. Okay, that's good. Now if we go here, level data, we load a level. Um, like this one. Kind of hard to hit your head on this one and knock yourself out, but maybe I can achieve it. No, just a stun. Nope. <laughs> Let's see. Alright. Doesn't matter. Let's go to a different level. Part of the test actually is that coming in and out of levels is going to work. What about this one? There we go. Oh. Oh. Let's try to get a... Um, a biff on the trampoline, maybe. 
let's see. Maybe we could go like this. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh, that was only a stun, really? God, the biffs are like a million times better. <laughs> okay, that one. I have to capture that one. That was too good. That one was pretty good. This one here wasn't bad too. Like that pose at the end is pretty solid. But this is the one right here. So we want to get this. We're going to start here. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can the ground be a good one here? That's pretty good. I'll grab that one. Okay, so a couple things. I need to update the... Let's see, while this is going. We did this. Oh, uh, sorry. We did. We did this. We did this. Um, we need to on resume when KO. Don't reset ragdoll. Um, and then have a camera positioner. Also update to avatar transform when ragdolled. So cameras continue to follow. Um, that's kind of the majority of it. Let's see here, this camera should have been tracking the gymnast, but stopped right here. The moment the gymnast ragdolled out, and now it won't move anymore. Even though it should have kept moving to the right. So I can fix that. Uh, we could grab this from another angle real quick, just because this one was pretty awesome. Let's get like a nice, like, just like, direct on, like, side view. Probably just like pan down like this. Let's see. How does the end look? We want to get, like, yeah, we want to be about here when it ends. Okay. You have to kind of cheese it right now if you want to do a live camera. To go like this and click that while you're still in camera pose mode or whatever. Oh, I got the, uh... Dang it, I might have to re-export these. this um yeah okay let's go like this let's go level data load level let's load a different one what about um, this one i don't think you actually actually get knocked out that much on this level. Yeah. 
Although, well, I still have the debug button implemented. I can just... <laughs> yeah, see, now we're not following the avatar properly. We gotta fix that. Right, it's definitely possible to, like, knock yourself out here, though. There it is. <laughs> definitely worth doing. Okay. Cut back onto that. simple things in life. That was pretty good. Mm, maybe this camera's better? Oh, I see. Yeah, it stopped. <laughs> Let's grab that one. Okay. Alright, that's enough. So, this is looking pretty solid now. I got a few bugs to fix. I'll probably uh, jump on those tomorrow. And then I need to spend some time capturing some more some new updated footage using this new biff system oh, it makes me wish now i had colliders on the poles that are holding up the different pieces because now you could actually you could actually collide with those in certain circumstances like i may need to add some colliders now or i didn't need them before I need to check the hip joint limits. They're probably not quite ideal. 
Okay. Cool. This is a good stopping point. I will... Uh, yeah, I will pick this up tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to stream or not tomorrow. We'll see. Either way, the next step is to fix some of those remaining bugs uh, with the with the new ragdoll. And capture more footage for the trailer. So that's pretty sweet. That might be fun to do tomorrow. I've got time. We'll see. Um, let's see. Maybe there's somebody online we could go say hello to real quick. Let's see. Oh, man. Adam's still doing his thing. We could do say hello. Right, if anybody wants to stick around for a quick raid, please feel free. Otherwise, otherwise, thanks for dropping by. And uh, we'll be back soon as we Thank finish you. up the game. Look at us, lower decks, breaching protocol together. Oops, there we go. Okay. All right, thanks, everyone. See you later. Oh, God. What have I done?